Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is Thinking in Causation, Level 4, Cause, Mechanism, and Effect. Up to this point, when we've been looking at cause and effect, it's always been important to first define the system and then work backwards, first identifying what is the effect and then working backwards to figure out the cause. In this video, we're really going to dig into the mechanism uh, because it's not always as simple as one cause, one effect. A lot of the time, we're going from one cause through a series of relationships, and we call that in science the mechanism. So let me put that to the side, and we'll organize that in a second. After you watch this video, you should be able to identify the cause, mechanism, and effect in simple thing like a can opener or even something like the most famous mechanism in, in biology, which is natural selection. But I'm going to start by showing you my thinking using a simple music box as a system, and then we'll work the dominoes together. So first of all, let me organize the cause, mechanism, and effect. So as we set it up this way, this is the causal relationship from cause and effect, but we've just given ourselves a lot more room, which is going to be the mechanism. What we're going to be digging into is a system called the music box. So let's listen to the music box. All right, so now let's set up the system that we're going to investigate. So the system's going to be the music box. The first thing we want to identify is what's the effect and what's the initial cause. So the effect that I'm hearing is the music playing, and then the initial cause is me turning the handle. So now we have to figure out how do we go from this initial turning of the handle to the music playing. And if I do this, there's really three things that I see going on. There's a turning of this crank, a rotating of the drum, and then we get some vibration in these combs. So let me write that down. So now I've put these big three events of the crank rotating, the drum spinning, and the comb vibrates within the mechanism. The only thing I'm missing is that causal relationship that shows the sequence of events. And so I would draw that like this. So this would be our cause, mechanism, and effect, and I could read it from left to right. I turn the handle, which rotates the crank, which spins the drum, the combs vibrate, and then the music plays. So that's going to be our cause, mechanism, and effect. Let me clear this out of the way, and you'll try one of your own. Okay, what I'd like you to do is try to figure out this system. These are some dominoes falling over in a Sonomod configuration. So let me turn this so you can see it. So what I want you to try to figure out is what is the cause? What's the initial thing that happened? What's the final effect? And what's the mechanism connecting all of those together? So if you would pause the video, draw out your cause mechanism effect, and then unpause and let's see how we sync up. Okay, the first thing that I saw is the final effect. So the final effect is domino six falls over, and the initial cause is that domino one falls over. Okay, let me sketch out my mechanism. The first thing that I saw happen is domino one falls, which causes domino two to fall. Then domino two falls over, which knocks over domino three. And then domino three hits two other dominoes. So first we have the domino four falling, then the domino five falling, and then finally we've got domino six falling. So that's a cause, mechanism, and effect for these simple dominoes falling over. Now that you've seen me do it, I would encourage you to practice it. I've got some slide decks below the video you could look at, put together a cause, mechanism, effect of a can opener, or even the natural selection of the evolution of the beaks of the finches. That's cause, mechanism, and effect. It gives you more detail on how we connect from the cause to the effect. The best way for you to figure this out is to give some of them a try on your own. That's cause mechanism effect, and I hope that was helpful.